promotion. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am Teacher Shelley. And for those of you that don't know her, this is my assistant teacher, Leah. Um, I'm going to have our pastor, Don Shelton, come and open us with prayer. Thanks for coming. We have enjoyed the kids. I, I get a special treat once in a while. They come in my office and they sing a song or play with my toys. And uh, so it's always great. It's been great to have them come in and uh, share their smiles this year. Let me pray with you. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for the beautiful day you've given us. Thank you for the beautiful children. Uh, Father, their spirit, their energy. Uh, Father, they are each one filled with promise. And, and you have plans for each one of them. And we count it a blessing to be able to have a part uh, in helping them discover that plan for their life. Uh, we thank you for the time to celebrate tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I'd like to give a couple thank yous. First of all, thank you, parents, for letting us be part of your children's life. Um, they are all such a great blessing to us and bring such joy to our lives. They all are such unique individuals that you kind of never know what you're going to get from them from minute to minute. Um, I'd like to thank Dolores. She comes over every couple of weeks or so and reads to the kids, gives my voice a little bit of a break. Um, Chrissy, wherever she went, right back there, um, she comes and hangs out with us. Her son came through our program, but she liked us enough that she sticks around. Um, and she comes and she helps us out, and we really appreciate that. And the kids just adore her. Um, right now, we're going to have all of the kids come up here on stage. So if you are one of our promises, come on up.
part of their personality. And I'm going to start with a young man that uh, I absolutely adore this little guy. He can color like nobody's business. Um, even when he was just three, it was absolutely perfectly in the lines and lots of colors and and he just did a really great job, very, very professional when he does stuff, but he doesn't say a whole lot. So, tonight, our man of few words is Mr. Leo Clyde. <laughs> this next award is for a young lady that we've only gotten to have her in our program for one year. Leo, you can go ahead and step there. Oh, never mind, he's going somewhere else. We've only gotten to have her for one year, but 
I have come to absolutely adore her and it's been so much fun getting to see her personality come out. And she is definitely one smart whippersnapper and any time I ask her what a number is, it doesn't matter if it's five or 15 or 36, she knows it and she knows every month when it comes up. Um, so tonight, our award for being one smart cookie goes to Kelly Beresell. <laughs> Our next young lady has only been with us one year too. Um, honestly, she has kept us on her our toes the whole time. She just goes and goes and goes. Our award tonight for being the Energizer Bunny goes to Miss Bella Robershaw. <laughs> This next young lady had a rough start when she came to preschool. Um, in fact, the first day she hid under a table and bolted for the back door, all the while screaming. Um, and it took her a little while to warm up to us and us a little while to warm up to her and to understand what she needed from us. But we finally got there. And uh, this year our award for most improved goes to Miss Lily Hatchard. This next young man, hard to figure out which one it is, huh? This next young man is another one of those that keeps us on our toes. He uh, is always full of something. So our award tonight for being full of surprises goes to Mr. Jace Warnicky. <laughs> this next young lady, it doesn't matter what's going on, she's got a comment about it. Whether it's about it or something else, it doesn't matter. She's got a comment to make. Um, they're usually some pretty wise words. Sometimes not, but usually. So our award tonight for I've Got a Lot to Say goes to Miss Kira Viren. This next award goes to another young lady that um, I've actually known since she was about a year and a half, but she did not warm up to me. She did not like me. She would not look at me. She, <laughs> she had absolutely nothing to say to me and in fact would give me some of the dirtiest looks you've ever seen. Even when she started preschool this year, um, it still carried on. But finally, last week, she looked at me and smiled and said, Teacher Shelley, I love you. So the award for coming out of my shell goes to Ms. Hayden Laura. Our next award goes to a young lady who it has been my privilege and pleasure to have her brother and sister in our program too. It's been really interesting though, seeing the differences in siblings. Um, they definitely all three have their own personalities and this one is full of personality. So the award tonight for, being, for doing things in my own time and own way goes to Miss Carly Wirtz. This next award goes to a young lady um, 
This one tends to be a little near and dear to my heart because she just happens to be related to me a little bit. Um, she tends to be a lot like her mommy. Tends to be a tad bossy, a tad opinionated, but full of a lot of energy and a lot of love. I've caught her a few times when we're done with craft time, they get some free play time and I've caught her several times over being the teacher and having my pointer stick and pointing towards now what number is this? What month is this? What color is this? So our award for the future teacher goes to Miss Jaden Bolin. This next award goes to a young lady who is always a positive person, always has a smile on her face, always has a good word for somebody, um, just a real delight to have around. Our award for good spirit goes to Miss McKaylee Howard. I'm sure you've probably noticed one up here that can't kind of sit still, that's always moving a little bit and doing something. Um, it's the same way she is when she's at preschool. She's full of a lot of energy and enthusiasm. The award tonight for being a busy bee goes to Miss Heidi Clyde. He was sitting down, so I had forgotten he was up here. This next award goes to a young man who every single day I get at least two or three hugs. And they're not the kind of hug that's just quick and let go. It's the kind of hug that holds on forever and ever and ever, full of a lot of love and affection. And he's just a really special little guy. So the award for best hugs goes to Mr. Zachary Sabe. next award goes to a young lady that the minute she hits the door she is yelling for her friends and running to them and hugging them and kissing them and when it's time to leave she runs and hugs and kisses them again and everybody everybody is her best friend so tonight the best friend award goes to Miss Bridget Manley This next award goes to a young lady who is truly one of a kind. Um, first time I asked her how old she was, I was told 19. <laughs> and I'm sure if you ask her now, it's still 19. Um, we had a princess tea at our illumination station one day and when mom asked her if she wanted to go, it was, I'm not a princess, I'm the queen. <laughs> But when she showed up, she was in a ninja costume because somebody had to protect the princesses. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed the imagination of this one. And uh, I'm going to miss the panther parades that we have. So the award tonight for Miss Imagination goes to Molly Tharp. So this year we only had 15 in our program. Eight of those will be going on to kindergarten and we want to give them something a little extra special. So when I call your name, will you please come up and get your diploma and your cap? Miss Bella Robershaw.
Miss Lily Hatchard. Lily. Lily. Hayden Laura. Molly Tharp. <laughs> Mr. Jace Warnicky. Mr. Leo Clyde. <laughs> Reminder to self, next time bring bobby pins. Who's the Miss Kelly Birasel. So these are our next year's kindergarten students. Give them a hand. celebrating with us. Um, to let you know, next door, um, if you go out the front doors and around up the stairs, in our illumination station, there is cookies and punch for everybody to share. So once again, thank you for coming and celebrating with us. Um, the program tonight will be put on YouTube. So if you don't have your own video camera, um, it will be on YouTube probably later tonight or tomorrow. We do have a CD available, not tonight, um, of all the pictures of all of the trips and stuff that we've taken. So if you want one of those, let me know. But thank you for coming. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so.